Hey guys, Sam from Mounts is Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So we have a regular segment here at Mount Fizz Makes every Thursday and it is known as Tile of the Week Thursday. We got him going. And we got Rolo going too. So <laughs> if you are new here, Rolo, we finished. If you are new here, Tile of the Week Thursday is Rolo. I got this book in Happy Mail, not the July just gone, the July of 2022. I got it off my Amazon wish list from a dear, dear friend of mine. You can get it in other places and you can also get an e-book format on your Kindle or other electronic device. I highly recommend you get that one because not only can you magnify the pictures, the charts and the written instructions, it doesn't fall apart like this book does. Literally, guys, this book is rubbishly made. Um, or you could spiral bound it like a few others have had done. We are not bothering because once we have done the whole book, it's never going to see the light of day again, quite frankly. But when I opened this, I got overexcited and I said, I'm going to make all 100 crochet tiles, which is edited by Sarah Callard, by the way, um, one a week until it was done. And for a few days, a lot of people laughed at me because I didn't actually click that it would take the best part of two years to complete that um, promise. And here we are, guys. We are here with week 58. We have surpassed the halfway point. We are fast approaching the 60th. Only a couple of weeks and we'll be at the next milestone. We have been doing this for a very, very long time now, over a year, and it will still continue well into next year. So there are all the other episodes of this segment in a playlist on my channel. For your convenience, I will link that playlist down in the description box. And while I'm talking about my description box, I, um, no, I don't need to talk about my description box anymore. I apologise. I'm very, very tired, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, every week I have a very, very supportive and dutiful person joining in with us she is known as josephine hey josephine if you are watching she is doing this with us and she sends me a picture of her tile every week and i display it on the community tab and i also put a picture of mike and i's because my camera does not showcase color very accurately which is a real downfall considering we are a young channel and color is important we'll fix that at some point in the future so please head over to the community tab and tell Josephine how wonderful and talented she is. I would really appreciate it. But it is not just Josephine joining in on this crazy train of tiles. There are several other podcasters and subscribers alike. If you would like to find out who else is joining in, in the search bar of your YouTube, put in hashtag tile of the week thursday and everybody that has used that on either a community tab post or a video will pop up and you will literally have months worth of viewing pleasure should you shall should you so wish to view it it was never meant as a crochet along no 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 this was me getting carried away not realizing what i was committing myself to and mike saying that he were joining along the way but a lot of our friends decided that they would jump on board too and they regularly do their videos as well. Some of them started from the beginning, some of them jumped in part way and they are some of them doing the catch up tiles, some of them not. It really doesn't matter to Mike and I, we are going to do all of them regardless. We are just thankful that we are not the only two crazies on YouTube, okay? You guys love this segment. It is one of the most popular and we thank you for that. And some weeks we have some very questionable reviews of tiles. So if you want to see some entertaining past videos, feel free to click that playlist below. Anyway, tile 58. What was that one? It was Snowflake Sweets by Anna Marie Serres. Nobody knows how to pronounce her name. I apologise if I'm saying it wrong. But the likelihood of her watching this is 
what am I doing? Oh, I'm showing you the name of the tile. Um, it's very, very unlikely. Now, we have been um, going on a mosaic journey, and that mosaic journey will continue for quite some time. It is another mosaic, guys. It is supposed to look a little like that. But Yani Mani noticed that she did a boo-boo. There's a stitch missing. And then I said to Mike, spot the mistake. And he actually spotted this missing stitch up here. So between Mike and Mani, he's going to have a picture published in a book. Quite one attack, but it's, you know... The best version it can be but we are all humans we all make mistakes so you know just me personally if i had submitted that i would be really mortified just personal opinion so yeah she missed out two stitches on her actual um showpiece oops um and we will show you ours in just a second now not only were there two mistakes in the photograph picture of her tile we once again had to do the funny corner thing that we explained last week. Um, and it took a little minute for Mike and I to work out the two starting points this time. Because in the week before, it was on complete opposite diagonals. And this time, I think it was on a straight edge. I can't remember now because it's been a few days since we've completed this. But it took a while and a lot of um, to and fro in about where we should start. And we had to go through the instructions probably about eight times before we figured out where we were supposed to start. But once we got going, we got going. Now, this took three sittings because of busy life outside of these YouTube streets. But we got it done, guys. We did. And it was another mosaic. I didn't have any troubles once we started going. And I don't think I fluffed this week. Yay! I didn't have any troubles, or so I thought, but I did make the same mistake as Anna Marie saw. Yeah, you missed one stitch. I missed one stitch. Not two, just one. But one stitch out of I don't even know how many is not that bad. Now, the one thing I did fluff up on, though, guys... So with the first mosaic two weeks ago, I missed some stitches and, and got the pattern a little bit wrong. Last week, I went for two very similar colourways and mine was a bit muted and, and wasn't as a dramatic pop as what Mike's was. This week, I did go for two different colours, but they're both really pale. <laughs> so there isn't really a pop in this one either. <clears throat> Clearly, Mantha picking colours for mosaics is not her strong suit. But that is okay. Sometimes you might want a little subtle something, something in your mosaic pieces. There is sparkle though. And I think the sparkle makes it all okay. Um, the sparkle yarn that I used is actually a boucle yarn as well. So it's the wiggly, jiggly, bumpy one. Um, I have no issue working with it. But I wouldn't recommend that yarn for beginners. Just purely because of its wiggly, wormy consistency. Um... But yeah, we got going. It was absolutely fine. It took a while for the pattern to appear. Mm. Um, Mike did question, well, it's not looking like the book. And then when I pointed out on the picture where we actually were, he was like, oh, it's coming next. It's like, yeah, patience, man, patience. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely fine. It was A-OK. -okay. My colour choices could have been a little bit better. But other than that, oh, and the starting points was a little bit of frustration. But we got it done. So, I will show you mine because it's not as impressive as a pal as Mike's. But here it is. There you go. I used white and then I used a really um, minty green sparkly boucle. Again, see what I mean about the colour? The colour is not right. It's looking more blue on camera. It's actually more green. So, don't forget to head on over to the community tab because you will actually see the accurate colour over there. And Mike will show you his. And there's mine. There you go. Are and you? I use the mushroom and uh, aquary. It's called aspen. 
Aspen and my mistake I believe is there there's not a stitch there but you know it is what it is you can barely see though guys barely barely if you didn't point it out you wouldn't notice see there should have been another stitch here because look at that side look you've got two prominent corners and that one he's only got one but it is yeah. absolutely fine there's mine from a distance um another point of note is the first mosaic tiles have already been claimed by one of you lovelies that want to own them and last week's tiles have been claimed by someone who wants to own them now if you are new you will not know that the first batch of tiles i did put out a video saying who wants these because mike and i have no plans for them so we shipped them off to lots of different people that wanted these tiles. They're all doing different things with them. Um, some of them have already grown up and been turned into the projects that they were um, destined for with their new owners. Um, and if you do see a tile and you want to own it, let me know. I'm not shipping them out until after Christmas, guys. I need to be careful of my pennies between now and Christmas. But I am making a note of what tile and who wants it. So don't forget you can get more tiles should you wish if they um take your fancy but if somebody's already claimed them it's first come first serve and if someone's already claimed them i will of course email you back and let you know that um sorry someone else beat you to it um but there are plenty more tiles to come like i said we're only on 58 we got to get to 100 and there is probably another 10 weeks at least of mosaics i think so there are more mosaics to come. Speaking of which, tile 59. It's called Playing with Cubes. And again, it is by Anna Marie Serez. And it looks like that. That's what we've got to create next week. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? This one that we've just done. She wanted two colours, which we both did. She wanted a light worsted three weight or a DK, which we both did. No, I think my white was a four weight. I mixed I mixed yarn weights. It worked out at the same time. And she recommended a 3.5 millimetre hook. We both used our four millimetre clovers like we always do. It's just our favourite. Um, so yeah, we did we did most of that. And then for this playing with cubes, again she wants two colours. Again, she wants a light worsted three or a DK weight, which is fine. That is what most of our scraps are. And again, she wants 3.5. We're probably gonna use again i'm not even gonna lie to you guys um and this one is again oh this one's 20 rounds we've got one round less Woohoo! and there is still an edging so the last two have been 21 rounds and an edging this one's 20 and an edging so it's still quite a hefty pattern to plow our way through um and she's doing the cornery thing again which we should in theory i've mastered <laughs> if not we'll figure it out again <laughs> um so yeah playing with cubes 59 is coming next week that is what you have got to expect so like i said check out the community tab post um if you're curious about who else is joining in do the search bar thingy at the top of youtube um, and you will find everyone that is joining in. And like I said, there is a playlist down below as well. So this was a bit short and sweet this week. We're normally here for much, much longer, but there really isn't a lot to say other than a bit of frustration to begin with, which we soon overcome. And Mike boo booed one stitch and I picked rubbish colours. Pretty much wraps it up, I guys. Enjoy mosaic. Yeah, Mike is loving the mosaic. This is the happiest he's ever been doing these tiles, and that is saying something. Yeah, we'll leave that there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, so hopefully it'll be another enjoyable mosaic make for next week as well. So tune back in again tomorrow for crochet catch up. Find out what we have getting up what we have been getting up to with the rest of our crocheting other than these other than these and 
I'm a little bit excited to show you something tomorrow and I'm going to leave it there because I always spoil it and I want it to be a <gasps> oh um <clears throat> and then of course our live Saturday night uh 4 p.m eastern straight after granny d as normal and then it will be see you later till monday because of course i am taking sundays off so um yeah it's been a really quick week this week it really really has but it's been an enjoyable week hope you have had a lovely week as well like i said we will see you tomorrow for crochet ca oh. catch up yeah crochet ketchup sam you know just recreate the whole segment of your channel Crochet catch up. That's what we'll see you for tomorrow. But until then, stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. Or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you loads.